90 Day Fiancé Mike and Natalie are still legally married. Hello lovely viewers and welcome back to Vogue America Noob episode with Ben L. Mike and Natalie earlier gave 90 Day Fiancé the impression that they were going to have a sweet relationship. But all of that got chucked out the window when they saw the latter's aggressive and possessive side. Their personality was miles apart. Later, fans realized their relationship would not work out. That's exactly what happened. After a few months of marriage, Mike and Natalie parted ways. The latter left everything and moved to Florida and later to Los Angeles. She started a new relationship with Josh Weinstein and even tried to reconcile with Michael at one point. But it didn't work out. While all this happened, fans wondered what's up with their marital status. 90 Day Fiance stars Mike and Natalie's relationship was equivalent to a dumpster fire. Their relationship went in a downward spiral, and the latter left home after a few months of marriage. She began her journey in Florida through the single life. She then moved to Los Angeles and was in a relationship with Josh Weinstein. When people questioned Mike and Natalie's marital status, the former decided to throw divorce papers at her during the tell-all. It was chaotic as the latter began to cry. Since then, there has been no update about what happened between the couple legally. Well, a fan page, Shabudi ended up spilling piping hot tea about this matter. In a new post on the page, a fan recounted meeting Mike Youngquist and posted about it on social media. She also shared pictures with the 90 Day Fiance star while the fan page reposted it. In it, she mentioned how Mike confirmed Matoli still hadn't signed the divorce papers as she is worried about getting deported and losing her visa. Mike Youngquist had become low-key after falling out with Natalie Mordatsa. 90 Day Fiance fans rarely heard from him. He did date another woman after their marriage ended, but he kept it under wraps. Now Mike has been happily flaunting his new relationship with Sarah Rose. People don't know much about her, but they can see how happy she makes him. Fans are seeing many instances of Mike and Sarah's fun dates on social media. They often make posts and Instagram reels talking about how much they mean to each other. At the same time, the celeb is taking precautions to make sure the audience respects their privacy. That's because, apart from the pictures, Mike has not shared anything about their relationship. As for Natoli, she had publicly broken up with Josh but began to sleep around with him again as he didn't want to commit. So it's fair to say that Michael is doing much better than her relationship-wise. As for when they will file for divorce, only time will tell how things shape up. The 90 Day Fiancé Season 8 Angela Dean confronts Michael Ilesami and questions his loyalty, says I wish I never brought him here, accusing him of using her for a visa and cheating. The whole cast gathered to discuss the season's ups and downs, with special excitement about Michael Ilesami finally arriving in the US after years of waiting to join his wife, Angela Dean. However, things were far from perfect for the couple. Angela, 58, seemed frustrated with her husband. When she arrived at the tell-all, she told Big Ed that nothing had gone as she imagined since coming to the US with Michael. Angela expressed her doubts about Michael, saying, As much as I love him, I don't trust him. Ed, she even accused him of using her for a visa and said, I'm sick of it. Ma'am, I wish I never brought him here. He's making an F. Ing fool out of me. Once Angela and Michael, 35, joined the rest of the cast, she demanded that he stay by her side, warning him not to make her look like the bad one anymore. Dean told him, You don't get out of my F. Ing sight. Do I make my F. Ing self clear? because you ain't going to have time to make these people think I'm the bad one no more, and that Michael is not going to do the nice guy to y'all in front of me no more. Angela loudly aired their problems, mentioning how Michael sleeps in the living room and hasn't been intimate with her in two months. She accused him of cheating, suggesting he had another woman in New Jersey. Michael denied the accusations, but Angela continued to criticize him, calling him a liar and saying, he'll lie and he'll take that lie to the grave. Michael defended himself, insisting he'll tell it how it is. Angela retorted, saying she'd seen nothing but lies from him in their seven years together. Jasmine Pineda stirs the pot by sharing cuddly photo with surprising 90 Day Fiancé co-star. Star Jasmine Pineda recently showed interest in a shocking male cast member and has now shared a cuddly photo with him. Jasmine came to America on a K-1 visa and married Gino Palazzolo in June 2023. The couple's marriage hit rock bottom within a few months, leading to their split in December last year. Jasmine complained that Gino wasn't taking an interest in her physically. He was also controlling her finances, not helping her change her green card status so she could visit her kids. Jasmine and Gino worked together during the tell-all. 
took to Instagram to post a selfie with an unexpected co-star from 90 Day Fiancable Season 8 in her Instagram stories. Michael Alsami. She was wearing a baby pink sweater with a fur coat and her hair was loose over her shoulders as Jasmine clicked a selfie with Michael, who stood smiling behind her. Michael was formally dressed in a dark blue shirt with a black blazer. I really hope you find peace and happiness, Jasmine added in a caption with a red heart emoji. Jasmine spoke about Michael in a recent interview with Access Hollywood. She was discussing the upcoming tell-all and what she thought about couples living together in one house for the first time ever in the franchise history. Jasmine said that part of her was very happy to see Michael in the flesh and get to know him for the first time. She was fascinated with Michael's journey and perhaps wanted to know more about his journey to the US but Jasmine admitted she was scared of talking to Michael because Angela was always around. Michael claims he is single, even though he has been linked to a woman named Megan in America. Jasmine is also reportedly filming 90 Day The Single Life Season 5 and considering the interest she's shown in Michael. Jasmine could try dating Michael if they are both available. However, Jasmine's temper tantrums might remind Michael of Angela. Gino has also endured endless arguments in his relationship with Jasmine, just like Michael. It won't be a good idea for Jasmine and Michael to come together as a couple. However, they'd make good friends and bond over their short-lived marriages with their American spouses and their celebrity status. Michael has expressed a wish to make the best of his fame to make a living in the US after and Jasmine has already collaborated with fashion brands like Fashion Nova and has launched her vegan protein. Michael could become an entrepreneur like Jasmine if she agrees to guide him.